It's no surprise if many or all of you have used ChatGPT. It's truly taken the world by storm. Since the late 2010s, large language models, or LLMs, have been quietly developing in research labs. But everything changed with the release of ChatGPT, which not only showcased the power of OpenAI's GPT models, but also brought these advanced technologies out of the lab and into the real world. ChatGPT might be the most famous tool powered by an LLM, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. From Google's Gemini um, and Anthropic's Claude to WriteSonic and Jasper, there's a whole universe of chatbots and text generators built on LLMs. There are dozens of major LLMs and hundreds that are significant in one way or another. Listing them all out would be impossible, and in any case, it would probably be out of date within days because of how quickly LLMs are being developed. So in this video, we'll cover what I believe are the three most prominent LLMs today, namely GPT-40, Gemini 1.5, and Llama 3. But before we dive in, um, let's take a moment to understand what large language models, or LLMs, really are. At their core, LLMs are advanced AI systems designed to understand and generate human-like text. They are trained on enormous amounts of data from the internet, including books, articles, and websites, which helps them grasp the nuances of natural language. These models use something called the transformer architecture, a type of neural network particularly good at handling sequences of data. This architecture enables them to predict the next word in a sentence by considering the context provided by the words that precede it. Thanks to the training, LLMs can perform a variety of tasks that require understanding or generating text, such as translating languages, answering questions, summarizing long documents, or even creating entirely new content. The versatility of LLMs makes them incredibly useful across many fields. From helping research scientists with research papers to powering the chatbots that provide customer service, their ability to parse and produce text has countless applications. But despite their prowess, LLMs are not without challenges. They require vast amounts of computational power to train and operate, and must be carefully managed to avoid replicating or amplifying biases present in their training data. Now that we have a foundational understanding of what LLMs are and what they can do, let's explore how GPT-40, Gemini 1.5, and Llama 3 each take a unique approach to harnessing this technology. Let's begin with GPT. OpenAI's generative pre-trained transformers, or GPT models, have truly revolutionized our interaction with AI. From GPT-3's debut in 2020, which brought in the horizons of what language models could do, to the latest GPT-4.0, each iteration has brought us closer to a more interconnected and intelligent digital world. GPT-3 made headlines with its ability to generate text that could mimic human writing, from answering questions to composing essays. Its successor, GPT-3.5, built upon this foundation and really became the backbone of the widely used ChatGPT chatbot. Then came GPT-4, adding um, multimodal capabilities that allowed it to understand not only text, but images and audio as well, enhancing um, both its accuracy and versatility. And now we have GPT-40. Um, it's not just another step forward, it's a leap into the future of AI. GPT-40 is quite literally a multimodal marvel, um, capable of understanding and synthesizing information from text, images, and audio. Look at this example. Every detail in the text prompt is vividly captured in um, the image GPT-40 generated, all within seconds. This level of detail and creativity showcases its advanced understanding. Let's delve into how GPT-40 enhances image processing. Take this GameStop stock image, for instance. When we compare the analysis by GPT-40 with its predecessor, the improvements are clear. GPT-40 not only processes the images faster, but breaks down its interpretation into more digestible, meaningful segments. It's more concise, making the insights it provides more actionable for users. Moving on to audio capabilities, um, GPT-40 demonstrates remarkable potential in understanding and reacting to spoken language. Its ability to convey emotion, expressiveness, and energy brings a whole new level of interaction to AI conversations. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. How about you? 
Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot, always exploring. I started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named no, Byte. No, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. So in this example from OpenAI's demo, um, notice how quickly GPT-40 responds to audio inputs. It can react in as little as 232 milliseconds, averaging around 320 milliseconds. The speed is comparable to human response times in a conversation, illustrating just how interactive AI can be. Moreover, GPT-40 streamlines workflows and automates tasks, facilitating seamless communication across more than 50 different languages. And this capacity kind of promises a future where AI power tools are not only powerful, but also widely accessible, enhancing productivity and connectivity worldwide. And I think that one of the coolest applications is its ability to act almost like a personal assistant. Whether it's explaining what was happening on your screen in real time. This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year or helping you navigate through tasks on your device, as demonstrated by Salcon and his son. So, um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Will that be correct? Exactly. Well done. It's like having a smart helper by your side. Pretty cool, right? Now, you might be curious what the O in GPT-40 stands for. Well, the O represents Omni, in indicating that GPT-40 is a more comprehensive and all-encompassing model compared to its predecessors. Unlike earlier versions, GPT-40 integrates text, images, and audio into a single neural network. This holistic approach allows the model to process multimodal inputs simultaneously rather than handling them separately. Consider the voice recognition capabilities in GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. These models would convert spoken words into text, effectively stripping away the nuances of how something was said. Important elements like emotion and tone were lost, reducing the richness of the interaction. Well, GPT-40 changes this. Now the model doesn't just transcribe voice into text, but it processes the audio directly, capturing the full spectrum of um, vocal expressions. This means that all the subtleties of voice, um, its emotional depth, um, tonal variations, and even pauses are all considered, enabling GPT-40 to respond in a way that's not only accurate, but contextually and emotionally aligned with the input. While the power of GPT-40 is immense, so is the responsibility to use it wisely. Concerns regarding bias and misinformation are taken so seriously by OpenAI, which is committed to kind of mitigating these issues through ongoing research, safety protocols, and stakeholder engagement. So we've now seen how GPT-40 can wear many hats. It's not just a text generator, but also a keen image interpreter and a sensitive listener, seamlessly integrating multiple modes of communication. But you might be wondering, well, if GPT-40 can do all of these cool things, what is the need for other LLMs such as Gemini and Llama? Well, each LLM has its unique strengths and specializations that make it well-suited for different tasks and environments. So let's explore this a bit more by next turning our attention to Gemini 1.5, another powerful player in the landscape of language models. While GPT-40 impresses with its multimodal abilities, Gemini 1.5 stands out with its specialized capabilities in understanding and interacting with the world around it. Like GPT-40, Gemini can process and generate text, audio, and visuals, and even emulates emotions and expressions. However, Gemini's standout features lie in its advanced object detection, action recognition, and logical action reasoning, as we'll see in the following demonstrations by Google. 
Take this for example. A user places a ball under a glass and shuffles it among others. When asked where the paper ball is, Gemini astoundingly tracks the current glass, showcasing its keen object tracking abilities. Gemini's prowess extends beyond object tracking to creative problem solving. When tasked with suggesting a craft from items on a table, Gemini not only proposes building a pig with blue ears from yarn, but also generates an image of the proposed craft, matching the colors and details given by the user. And when it comes to logical reasoning, Gemini, Gemini excels there too. Presented with a scenario where a duck must choose between two paths, Gemini logically deduces that the left path is safer and more social for the duck because it leads to another duck, avoiding danger represented by a bear on the right path. These examples highlight Gemini's advanced capabilities in handling complex problems and tasks that involve planning and reasoning, areas where traditional models have often struggled. However, when it comes to image processing and generation, GPT-40 definitely takes the lead, especially in tasks that leverage OpenAI's renowned DALI software. GPT-40's integration with DALI allows it to not only interpret complex images, but also create unique visuals that are rich in meaning and context. Both GPT-40 and Gemini 1.5 showcase the exciting potential of LLMs to really transform the way that we interact with technology, um, each pushing the boundaries in its unique way. Now that we've explored the impressive capabilities of GPT-40 and um, Gemini 1.5, it's time to turn our attention to another groundbreaking large language model that's been making waves recently, Llama 3. Developed by Meta, um, this open source LLM was released just last month um, on April 18th, 2024, marking a significant milestone in the evolution of large language models. Unlike some of its predecessors, Llama 3 um, solely processes text input. While we've seen how incorporating images can enhance um, an LLM's versatility and strength, Llama 3 stays competitive in mastering basic language tasks, even outperforming Gemini in several aspects. But perhaps the most standout feature of Llama 3 is its unparalleled accessibility. Being open source and highly customizable, it contrasts sharply with kind of the proprietary nature of models like GPT-40 and Gemini 1.5, which offered limited um, kind of customization options. The, this accessibility makes Llama 3 a preferred choice for developers looking to tailor AI solutions to specific real world tasks. While GPT-40 excels in generating high quality content and Gemini 1.5 shines in handling complex um, tasks and logical reasoning, Llama 3 is definitely the go-to for customized AI projects. And to truly appreciate why Llama 3 stands out in this competitive field, we need to delve a bit into the concept of fine tuning, a critical process that significantly boosts a model's effectiveness in specific scenarios. So let's head over to the whiteboard to break down this process. Let's begin with the basics of how LLMs are trained. Initially, these models undergo what's called pre-training. This is where the model learns from a vast amount of general data, absorbing a wide range of language patterns and information. Imagine it as a student going through years of school, learning a bit of everything. But what if we wanted our model to not just know a bit of everything, but to excel in a specific task? This is where fine tuning comes in. Fine tuning is like sending our student, who's already finished school, to a specialized course. Here, the model trains on a smaller, specialized dataset to become an expert in a particular field. For example, <clears throat> let's say that we have a model. For example, let's say that we have a model that's been pre-trained on a wide range of general English texts, from everything from novels and news articles to blogs and social media posts. This has given our model a broad understanding of the English language, but it's not been specialized yet. Now imagine we want the model to perform um, tasks in the healthcare sector, like understanding and summarizing medical reports. Medical reports are filled with specialized terminology, abbreviations, and jargons that are not commonly found in the general language data that the model was initially trained on. To adopt our model for this new task, we fine-tune it using dataset composed of exclusively medical tests, such as clinical case notes, research articles, medical journals, and patient history. By training on this data, the model learns a specific language and structure of medical reports. And to do this, we adjust the model's parameter to better interpret and generate medical language. This might involve increasing the mo model's familiarity with medical acronyms and their expansions, understanding that BP refers to blood pressure, 
or recognizing that certain symptoms are, and numbers are critical in diagnosing conditions. The fine-tuning process not only enhances the model's vocabulary, but also its ability to make sense um, of the context in which medical terms are used. For example, it learns to distinguish when cold refers to a common illness rather than um, a lower temperature in a clinical setting. By the end of this fine-tuning process, our model is no longer just a jack-of-all-trades in English. It's become a specialist in medical language, capable of assisting healthcare professionals by providing accurate summaries and insights from detailed medical reports. Now, this is where Llama 3 comes in, because this is a model that people can actually fine-tune. Unlike some of its contemporaries like GPT-4 or Gemini 1.5, which aren't available for public fine-tuning, Llama 3 stands out as the most capable, openly available um, LLM to date. Developed by Meta, its release into the open community isn't just about providing access um, to powerful technology, but really about catalyzing a new era of innovation across the AI stack, from applications and developer tools to evaluations and inference optimizations. Meta's vision with Llama 3 is clear to empower developers to customize this model um, to support relevant use cases, thereby enhancing the AI ecosystem. By making it easier for people to adopt best practices, Llama 3 improves the broader open source landscape. To ensure that developers can trust this technology, Meta has introduced new safety tools like Llama Guard 2 and CyberSec Eval 2, alongside the innovative code shield. These tools act like inference time guardrails, filtering out the insecure code produced by LLMs, which is crucial for maintaining the integrity and safety of applications. Another exciting development is the integration of Llama 3 with TorchTune, a new PyTorch native library. TorchTune makes it easy for developers to author, fine-tune, and experiment with LLMs in a memory-efficient way. It's designed to be hackable and is compatible with platforms like Hugging Face, Weights and Biases, and Eleuther AI. Whether you're into prompt engineering, um, running large-scale generative AI applications, or just starting with LLMs, Llama 3 comes with a comprehensive guide that takes you from download to deployment. This makes it an accessible choice for developers um, at all levels. This approach not only fosters innovation, but really ensures that the technology is used responsibly and effectively. With Llama 3, the possibilities are just beginning to unfold. Let's quickly recap the standout features of the three models we've explored today. GPT-40, with its integration with DALI, serves as an exceptional personal assistant. It excels in generating images, processing multiple languages, and even understanding emotions, making it incredibly versatile. Gemini 1.5 shines in logical reasoning, object detection, tackling complex tasks that require a nuanced understanding of the physical and logical world. And then there's Llama 3, your go-to model for customizing and fine-tuning your own AI projects, making it ideal for those who need a more tailored approach. But remember, the landscape of LLMs doesn't end with these three. There are others like Gemma for Google, Vicuna by LMSYS Org, Claude 3 by Anthropic, Stable LM2 by Stability AI, and Grok by XAI, each pushing the boundaries of AI in unique ways. The field is rapidly evolving, with new innovations constantly emerging, so keep an eye out for what's next. Well, that's all that I have for you for now. If you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure to give it a like, and feel free to comment um, below any questions that you have. Um, and if you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any videos that will help you on your journey towards mastering artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.